Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, and I have a great video for you today. This is one of my favorite videos to watch, so I'm so excited to finally be doing a video like this. This is my yearly 2017 beauty favorites. So I'm going to be going through all my makeup products that I've loved this entire year. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that all of the products that I'm mentioning will be in my blog. My blog is ladolcelisa.com. I'll link it in my description bar down below. Everything from like the price information to where you can pick up these products will be in my blog as well. And I just wanted to say that I tried really hard not to mention anything that was like limited edition or that you can no longer purchase in a store. So I'm pretty sure that like 90 to 95% of the things I'm mentioning are all things that you will be able to purchase online or in store. So let's get started. Here are my beauty favorites. This is a Clinique foundation and it's very thick as you can see. This color is a little bit too dark for me right now so I'm actually mixing it with a lighter color because I used to use this in the summertime. Now I'm pale but I used to be tan so, <laughs> so I actually mix this as well. And this is Ivory number no. 6 and Sand number no. 18 and this is called the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1. Now you can technically use this as a concealer, but I just use this as a thick foundation layer and it is so good. I mean, it's really thick and it's full coverage. So this is something that when you really wanna look flawless, put this on and you'll just be great. This next one I'm going to be talking about is the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. This is the color 130. To be honest, it's not the greatest color for me because it's a little bit more on the pinky tones and I'm sort of a more yellowy tone person. But I actually, I think I had the 220 and that was perfect for me. So I love the 220. Um, I've been mixing this in my foundations as well. So these two actually go together amazingly, but you could actually really just use this on your own. This is kind of your best everyday foundation and it's so affordable. You can pick this up at the drugstore and it is amazing. So this is actually matte and poreless one. It's for normal to oily skin and that's kind of what I have so it works out perfectly. So if you have drier skin, they also have one for that as well. This is just great for me because I'm normal to oily so it's perfect. The coverage is, I think I would say it is like buildable to full so that you can also do a light coverage and have it still look wonderful. So those are my two favorite products for foundation. So we have a higher end and we have a drugstore. Product, I'm going to be talking about concealer. I have one concealer product and that's it. It is from MAC and it is the Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is an amazing product. I've used this before, but I forgot how much I loved it. And I'm thinking, why did I ever stop using this? This is like the holy grail concealer, really. I've never tried a better concealer than this in my entire life. And this is an NC15. I purchased this again right before I went on my trip to Italy and I used it there. And ever since that, I've been using it the entire year and I still have like quite a lot left, so a little bit does go a long way. It's more on the pricey side, but it is still affordable considering that it will probably last you, I'm going to even say, anywhere from three months to even a year. So it just depends on how often you do your makeup. If you're like me and you do your makeup every day, I would say maybe three to six months. But yeah, this is just an amazing product. This is the only product I'm going to talk about for concealer because this was the holy grail 2017 concealer of the year. I will be using this every year. about bronzer and this is going to be really random because this is like the smallest bronzer you could ever have but Sephora was doing those like 100 point perks so I purchased two of these because I love Too Faced products and I really love their bronzer so this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in medium slash deep matte it smells like chocolate so that's just like a bonus for me and it is like the most perfect bronzing color I even use this since it's so small as like a nose contour as well so I actually had two of these and I ran out of it this year because that's how much I love this and I'm thinking wow when this runs out I'm going to actually purchase a full size because I love this and it is like the perfect like warm but without being too warm it doesn't make you look orangey or anything weird i'm using it today and i love it so much so this is like the bronzer of the year for me i'm not going to talk about any other bronzer it is just the best bronzer that you can find it blends so nice and so seamlessly it is so pigmented and it blends out very well and it is just perfect i don't like my bronzers with any shimmer in them at all really because like i said i'll just add my shimmer with some blushes or highlighters this is the We are going to be talking about blush. I love blushes and I actually had two favorites this year. I have to say MAC does an amazing job. So this was my favorite blush of the year. This is Max Melba. Now Max Melba is just a beautiful color. It is like, 
I don't know, it's perfect. When I'm pale, I love it. When I'm tanned, I love it. I just love this color. It just brings so much life to your cheeks. And I'm actually using this right now. I feel like all the products that I mentioned, I'm using basically. I was using foundation, I was using that concealer. So I'm also using this as well on my cheeks because I wanted to give you guys sort of like a little look at what I'm using. And on top of this, this is a Gerard Cosmetics blush. And this is perfect when you want your cheeks to have that subtle glow. So I'm not really a huge fan of blushes that are so shimmery and shiny. I like a more matte blush, but sometimes when I just want to pop a little bit of a shimmer on top of my existing blush, I've been reaching for this all the time. This is like my favorite shimmer blush that I've ever used in my entire life. This is called Dorothy. And this is by Gerard Cosmetics, and I believe it's called Star Powders. This is something that I'll be using all the time, but this looks great with a tan because it just gives you that subtle glow. So I think that's why my highlight also looks so highlighted today was because I kind of topped my little blush and then I topped my highlighter on top of that. So I just look like I'm glowing because we need that. I mean, in the winter time, I'm super pale and I need some life to my face. So these products are amazing for that. This highlighter is my favorite drugstore highlighter. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I love this color. It is such a pretty, pretty color. I just really loved how it feels. It is so pigmented. It's hard to believe that this is like a drugstore product, really. It is so affordable and they have them in stock right now, which is why I wanted to mention that. This is the Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Becca and this is the infamous Champagne Pop. Can you tell how much I've loved this product? <laughs> like really, I've hit pan on this. I use this so much. When you want your face to just glow and you don't wanna try, you don't wanna use so much product, you don't wanna have to you know, keep applying, you just want that one sweep and you want it to go a long way, I mean, this is it. This is the most pigmented highlighter I've used in my entire life. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it is so pigmented. You just like lightly dip your hand in and you get like, oh, you get all this beautiful color. I think that this was the most amazing collaboration and I really love this highlighter. It is such a warm and inviting tone and I think that this would really look good on anyone. So when you're super tan, this would look amazing. I mean, it would really pop even more, but look, I'm like not that tanned at all and it is like so, it's like a pop. It's a pop of color. The name is like perfect. It really looks like a champagne pop. I just love this product and I was so excited going back to Italy this year because I said, okay, great, I can stock up. So now I know that if you're Canadian, you're gonna hate me right now, but I'm telling you, if you go on a trip, even if you go to the States, because they do have this in, I remember even Vegas, the Kiko eyebrow product is the best. So this is called the Kiko Precision Eyebrow Pencil. And my favorite color for me personally is the O3. I also purchased the O2 as well, which is a little bit darker. Sometimes what I like to do is put the O3 in the beginning of my brows and the O2, which is actually darker, towards the end. But today I actually just use the O3 entirely and it is the easiest product. I mean, I think the reason why I love this so much is because it is so easy. It comes with a little sharpener because it is actually super thin. And I love that it's thin because I can be so precise with it. I have the kind of brows that are very sparse in certain areas so if I pluck one hair like suddenly my brows like bald there so I mean this is the most perfect product to fill your brows in it just you can be so exact with it you can be so precise and it looks so clean and it doesn't really look like you've gone overboard with like filling in your brows with like a really waxy product it is like the perfect texture and it is just I mean I love it it's made in Italy so it's really good quality as well you can't go wrong so if you can get your hands on that I really recommend it While we're on the topic of eyes, I also only have one mascara to show you and it is not high-end, it is a drugstore mascara and this is my favorite mascara in the universe. I love this and this is called Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. Now they have two of them, they have a black one and they have this gold one as well. I think I just got the gold because it was on sale. I love this because I absolutely love this brush. This is like the thinnest brush and it is just perfect for doing your mascara. I'm actually a mascara girl. I hardly ever wear fake lashes. Actually, maybe 2018 will be the year of fake lashes because my sister put on some fake lashes on me and I looked so much better. <laughs> my eyes look like so weak and so great. But I've been using mascara my entire lifetime. I think I've only used fake lashes a handful, like maybe like three to five times in my entire life. So I know a lot about mascara. I use mascara on a regular basis and I really need to make my eyes look up and awake. Like I really like my, when my eyes look thick 
and long and lashes. With this mascara product, I love that the wand is so thin so you can really get up in there and just sweep it up and your eyes look so awake and full and beautiful. So I'm using this of course right now. I've been using this the entire year. I really did not experiment with anything else this year. I really hope that L'Oreal never discontinues this because it is the best mascara. High-end mascaras can't even compete with this. love to fill in my waterline and I have two great products and they are both drugstore. So for my waterline for the inner corner, I've been using this Essence Gel Eye Pencil. It is waterproof and it is in the color Cocoa Bean. It's hard to read because it's like all rubbed off pretty much. But this is the most beautiful brown color. It is like a dark brown so it, it's almost black but I really like to use um, a brown instead of a black because it makes your eyes look a little bit less harsh. And I love that product so much. It is so affordable. You can pretty much find it at any drugstore. And it is just, I don't know, I really haven't found a product that I loved as much as this, at least for the price point anyways. So it's great. It says waterproof and that really helps me because it means that it won't smudge so much. Since I have oily skin, I find that my mascara will kind of smudge sometimes. And so this is actually great if you have like more oily skin. It usually stays in place pretty well. So I love this product. Liquid liner. Now eyeliner is like a holy grail product in and of itself. I'm an eyeliner girl. I can just go out with a cat eye and a red lip and I feel so good. I don't have to try. I don't even have to use eyeshadow. And most of the time I don't. My sister would be like, why aren't you using eyeshadow? You have so many nice eyeshadows what the heck but I really love to use a good cat eye mascara and red lips and I feel like my best self so this is my favorite eyeliner and it's been my favorite for years I love this brush I love this felt tip brush it is so perfect and it helps you be really exact in your movements and it is very forgiving I found this is called the Maybelline line stiletto ultimate precision liquid eyeliner this is the best eyeliner product that I have tried drugstore or otherwise. It is the best. Next, I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite palette of the year. And you could probably tell because it is so used up, but this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. This is like anyone's holy grail product. You can't really travel with this because it's pretty huge, but look at this. Jaclyn Hill is a girl after my own heart because she loves her warm colors and I love my warm colors. I'm not one to really experiment with some crazy looks. I don't really like the cold tone colors. I feel like they don't do anything for me, but she included a couple. So if you're kind of experimental and very playful, she also included a couple of those as well. And I've given them a try, but my favorites are the warm colors. I love them. She literally nailed it. There's every single color in here is like so desirable and perfect. This has everything you need. Her colors are so pigmented and they're so blendable and there's really not that much followed on them as well. So really, I'm so happy with this product. I love it so much. And it is like, oh, the holy grail eyeshadow product when you have this you kind of don't even want to reach for anything else because it's like it has every color you need really Jaclyn Hill great job I love your palette these are the best lip liners ever the color is amazing so this color is called creature and this is like your most perfect vampy mauvey color it is just amazing I don't know if you can see that but it's beautiful and they are so creamy and they're so smooth. I just love a good creamy lip liner and they're so affordable. And this red one I, I use actually as well today. And this is called Clique. So the red one in Clique is really nice and I love pairing this with my favorite. I'm gonna jump back and forth a little bit in between these kind of things because I have some more lip liners to talk about but this is my favorite liquid lipstick ever. This is of course the Julia's Allure collaboration with Sunaclore Cosmetics and I mean I love this liquid lipstick. I'm wearing it today. I wore this all year. This is my favorite liquid lipstick. Not to be biased or anything but it is just amazing because it really doesn't come off. It doesn't budge. You can eat with this. You can kiss someone with this. It is. It doesn't flake off either. Like some liquid lipsticks bother me because my lips feel so dry and then it feels like they're gonna flake off and they do flake off. Like this is like no, no transfer, nothing. It is the most perfect liquid lipstick. You don't have to worry about getting this on your teeth. So anytime I wear a red, I can't remember the last time I've ever worn a red lipstick. I just reach for liquid lipsticks and I have to say, this is my favorite liquid lipstick out there. There's something about the Julia's Allure formula that is just perfect. So I highly recommend it. And this is my favorite color. And just in case you didn't know, it's called Miss Monroe. 
So I love this color. It's absolutely beautiful. Now my next liquid lipstick is from a brand that my sister actually gave me. I didn't even know what this brand was. So this is the Lula Cosmetics Hybrid Lip Sculptor. On one end you have a lipstick and on another end you have the liquid lipstick. And this lipstick also doesn't budge. It is a great formula. And every time I wear this, I also get compliments as well because it is almost like the perfect vampy lip color without being too vampy. I mean, these two, I chose them with these two because these are like your best duos. <laughs> so really these lip liners go great with those products as well. This was the year for me of liquid lipsticks. I have to say I've been using liquid lipsticks almost every single day. But when I do want a nice glossy lip, I usually go with a nice neutral color, which I'll get to. But this lip liner is really pretty. It's a beautiful shade. It's almost like a, it's not really peachy. It's almost like a light brown mauve color, I guess you can say. I don't know how you describe it, but when I wear um, a nude lip, I like my lip liner to be almost on the brownie tone. I love that color so much. And I paired that with, did I tell you the name of this? This was just called Natural. So this lip liner is called Natural. So I should jump in between things, but <laughs> I like to pair that lip liner with this gloss. If I want a gloss that's not too shiny, I mean, I love a shiny gloss, who am I kidding? But when I want a gloss that's not too shiny, I really always reach for this Lorac Couture Shine in Retro. I hope they still have these. Honestly, it is my favorite color and like there's hardly anything left, but it goes really great with this lip liner as well because this pink is very pinky and when you pair it with like a nice brownie lip liner, the combination together is amazing. I really love those colors and as well, I said this was the year of the liquid lipsticks for me. So I really loved the ColourPop collaboration with Kathleen Lights and this is called Aquarius 2. And I mean, this is probably one of the nicest nudes I've ever seen. Just swatching this is like so nice and it goes great with that lip liner that I had showed you. I don't know if you can see them together, but that and that is like perfect together. So I just really, I mean, I can't put on a lipstick or a liquid lipstick or anything without a lip liner. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a lip liner girl and I need that. So that goes perfectly together. This is like such a nice color, such a nice formula. I absolutely love this. It's called Aquarius 2. It is such a good nude. I mean, this looks like a nice nude on me when I'm really tan and when I'm pale, this almost gives me that like mauve like really pretty color. I don't know, I just love this all year round. This is such an amazing color. So Kathleen Lights, you did an amazing job. I love Aquarius 2. Now, last color that I will mention by ColourPop is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the color Skimpy. I absolutely love this color and this is what first got me into ColourPop to begin with because their lippy sticks are amazing and it is so nice and pigmented. I don't know if you can see it, it's right here. And this is like such a pigmented color and this is perfect because it is so soft and hydrating on your lips and I absolutely love it. The color payout is great. I love the applicator. I love everything about ColourPop. They are so affordable and their colors are just like to die for. They're beautiful. So their color payout is great. The price range is great. What more can you really ask for? So if you want a lipstick, because this does come off, it is very soft and pigmented. But if you want a lipstick, that is the lipstick for you. Now this is a higher end lip liner. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in Savage Rose. It is so pigmented and creamy without being too creamy so it doesn't really bleed or anything like that. This will keep your lips in tip top shape. I love this. So if you're willing to invest a little bit more in a lip liner, this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner is the most beautiful lip liner. I love this color. So yeah, this color in Savage Rose is beautiful. Now that my hand is entirely covered with makeup, I think I'm pretty good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've stuck around this far, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and you can also check out my blog, ladolcelisa.com. I'll link it in the description bar down below because I'm going to be doing a blog post on all of these products that I mentioned. So you will be seeing price points and links to where you can purchase them as well. So I hope that that will be helpful. I really love filming this video and give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more favorites videos like this as well. So thank you so much for watching my 2017 makeup favorites. <laughs>